I lost my parents to cancer. I lost both of my, uh, my mom and dad, George and Donna, uh, within nine months of each other, actually. Uh, and so, you know, when you kind of come in and out of it, it really, it hits you in the heart, but when you're sitting there with your own family and, you know, you're dealing with it personally, uh, it opens your eyes up in a very different, it's a very stark way. Uh, I wanted to dedicate my life and whatever I can do with my comedy or wherever I take my career to being a part of things like this, you know. I lost my husband, Jay, to colon cancer 16 years ago, and my sister, Emily, shortly after that, to pancreatic cancer. Of course, I know countless people. I know my mother-in-law, uh, my mom, and so many friends have been diagnosed with this disease. And so I think everyone has a personal connection. I'm not alone. I lost my grandfather to cancer. Um, best friend in high school lost his sister when she was very young. Um, you know, I just, I don't think there's a person here who hasn't been touched, you know, by the horrificness of the oh, cancer. Well, I'm here because I have CML, which is chronic myeloid leukemia. I'm surviving that, and I represent the CML community, and it's important for all of us that uh, cancer research is supported and uh, people get behind it. Uh, the more breakthroughs that we make, the more people get well and uh, the better the landscape gets. So uh, we want everybody to, to lend their support. My mother, I lost my mother to lung cancer and um, members of my family are currently struggling uh, with it. And um, I you know, have very close friends who have fought and, 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 and prevailed over cancer and some that are still struggling and you know, we have to pray for them. So, um, but I think I'm like most people most of us are touched by cancer in one form or another, either ourselves or people that are close to us. So.